This is now our sixth episode of Girls Brigade and Boys Brigade at Home and we've reached half term, yay! We all hope you have a really good half term without having to do any schoolwork, get a really good rest. I know next term will be quite different for some of you. Some of you will be going back to school while others will be continuing learning at home. We just want you to remember that whatever you're doing, God is with you. For this next term, we're going to be learning about the parables of Jesus. Now parables are really special stories that Jesus told that have a special secret meaning. We're going to be listening to the stories and seeing if we can discover the secret that God wants to tell us. The first parable that we're going to have is the parable of the lost sheep. I've got a really fun video that I know some of you have seen before but I really like it. Have a look at this. Jesus told lots of parables. This is one that I think we all know, the parable of the lost sheep. One day, some of the Pharisees, who were the leaders at the time, started asking Jesus why he spent so much time with people that they considered to be bad people, people not worthy of their time. They just could not understand why Jesus wanted to spend time with them. So Jesus said this to them, Let me ask you this. What would you do if you had 100 sheep and one of them wandered off? Wouldn't you leave the 99 on the hillside and go looking for the one that had wandered away? I'm sure that finding it would make you happier than having the 99 that never wandered off. That's how it is with your father in heaven. He doesn't want any of these little ones to be lost. The people in Jesus' time would have been very familiar with sheep. Shepherds were common in the first century. A shepherd led his flock in and among the hills of Palestine, searching for the best grass and water. But there would have been bears and leopards and even hyenas. The shepherd often risked his life to protect the sheep from these dangers. The sheep weren't in fields with lovely hedges and fences round like we have today. A shepherd spent a great deal of time with his sheep, looking after them, and most likely knew everyone by name. Each sheep was very important and his goal was to keep every one of them safe. So when the shepherd in our story today realised that just one of his hundred sheep was missing, he left the others where they were and went to find the one that was in trouble. This was the bit that the Pharisees could not understand. Why would he leave the others in danger and look for the one that had been bad, the one that had chosen to wander off? Maybe we feel a bit like that. Why should Jesus bother with me? I'm only little or I've done really bad things in my life. 
But that's the secret message in this parable. Jesus really does love each and every one of us. He knows us by name. He knows everything about us, no matter who we are or what we've done. He will go out of his way to find us. In the parable, the shepherd searched and searched until he'd found the one lost sheep. Sometimes the sheep would fall down a crevice and the shepherd would have to climb down and pull it to safety. It would have been dangerous with wild animals out in the wilderness, but that didn't stop the shepherd. When he had finally found the lost sheep, he gently lifted it onto his shoulders and carried it back to the rest of the flock. The hundred sheep were together once more, but that's not the end of the story. The shepherd was so happy that he called his friends and neighbours to celebrate with him because he had found the one sheep that was lost. In the Bible it says that all the angels in heaven rejoice when just one person says they want to be Jesus' friend, when just one says they want to live their life for God. That's amazing, isn't it? The shepherd loved the sheep so much that he went out of his way to find it. God loves us so much that he rejoices when even the smallest of us, even the weakest, says, I want to be Jesus' friend. We have a really lovely song today. It's called The Blessing and it's sung by lots of children from all over the world. Now, Blessing is a really special prayer that you can say to someone and all the leaders of Girls Brigade and Boys Brigade would like to say this prayer to you. It says, The Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And that's what we really pray for at this time, that God would give you peace. We also ask that God will always be with you when you're happy or you're sad. So listen to this special song.
is Layla the lamb. Now Layla has been up to some adventures in Radstock this week. She's gone and hidden in quite a few places that you may recognise. We're going to put up 15 pictures where Layla is hiding. See if you can guess where she is. Now got a secret message craft for us. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to write some secret messages. So the first way we're going to use is I've got some milk here and I've got a cotton bud but you could use a paintbrush or you could even just dip your finger in really. So what you need to do is get plenty of milk and you need to write your message. Make sure the paper gets quite wet because then it works better. And once you have written your message, what you need to do is leave it to dry. If you're not very patient, you can use a hairdryer and that will dry it more quickly. But once it's dry, then you need to get somebody to help you and you need to get the iron. Now you have to be quite brave, get the iron quite hot and you need to iron over the message and gradually the message will be revealed. And can you see what that says? That's one that I did earlier. It says, God loves you. If you think that's a bit too dangerous with the iron, another way you can do a secret message is by using a candle. I've just got one that's off a birthday cake, but you could use any candle. And again, you write your message using your candle. And you have to press quite hard with this. Once you have got your message written out, you can't see it at all, it's completely invisible, but then with a felt tip pen you can reveal your message by colouring over the area where you wrote your message and soon I have revealed again the secret message that says God loves you. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Remember that next week we're going to have a talent show. So any talent that you have, take a video and send it in to me. If you know where Layla was hiding in all those places, then message me and we'll see who got the most places right. Bye-bye.